It's an Eastern Conference matchup in today's game as the 76ers come into town for this one. Well, what better way to spend a Monday night than with the 2K sports team and the NBA? Welcome, everyone. With Steve Kerr and Clark Kello, this is Kevin Hart. The Philadelphia 76ers came away with the win their last meeting this season against the Boston Celtics. That gives them a one-game advantage in this matchup this season. That was a game in hostile territory, too, guys. And it seemed like they had confidence right from the beginning, unbothered by being on the road. And, you know, their shots were falling. From the top to the bottom of that lineup, their guys were heated up. All right, let's set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. And so in the game for the 76ers, Jackson. Nerwin's Noel is out there with Embiid. Then it's Robert Covington. Then there's Jackson. And it's Carter Williams in at the point. And so it's the 76ers getting on the board first. Smart kicks to Selinger. Thornton dishes to Selinger. Six to shoot. The shot misses. Now Jackson. We saw him with 29 points last game. Carter Williams, the pass to Covington. And a great assist by Carter Williams as that one goes in. Heads up, aggressive play right there. He saw the smaller man on him, took it straight to the basket. Outside Turner. Zeller setting the pick for Turner. Here we go. And it's Noel with the rebound. Well, Nerland's Noel's rookie season, essentially a medical redshirt, recovering from ACL surgery in early 2013. So this will be his true rookie season. So first quarter just over a minute and a half in. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. And it's Turner off the drive. And that one hits back iron. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. Carter Williams with it. Picked up by Turner. Here's Covington. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And there's the call. Foul on Boston. You know, a lot of people thought and assumed that when the Celtics traded Pierce and KG, they just took salary in return. But, you know, the guys they got proved to be valuable mentors for the youngsters on that team. And when you trade away stars, guys, and, and start a rebuilding process, it can't be understated enough that you need to have a few vets to help the process. Yeah, I think you look at how some players played last year and, you know, their games grew. Definitely helped to have a vet or two around just, just to kind of help the development process. That free throw, no good. It's the second from the line. You know, the Sixers have really undergone a complete reversal in recent years from a team with a very old-school, traditional front office to a team that's now focused on the science and analytics of winning basketball. And quite honestly, guys, we're seeing more and more teams embrace the um, analytics side of things. Just five to shoot. Here's Thornton, and nothing is falling for him right now. Boy, after the first three misses, I thought they'd get one here, but they still can't connect. And the shot goes in from MB. Red hot, right out of the gate. Four for four shooting. And now, the first time out called here for Boston. And for the Sixers, their new stat-driven decision-making permeates the organization from ownership, Steve to the front office, all the way down to the coaching staff. Well, that's where the league seems to be going, Kevin. You know, teams are trying to think further ahead and see opportunities for strategic advantages, but... Look, it's still a balance. You've got to have chemistry and coaching, and those numbers will come in play, but they can't be the be-all, end-all. Here's Smart after the made shot from Joel Embiid. Smart with the ball. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Indiana. And with three steals, he also showed some grit and toughness at the defensive end. Now, here's Thornton. It's a 10-point game. And Thornton. 
the 6'4 guard, but you'll never confuse him for a point guard. A volume shooter from the moment he takes the floor. He's looking to put points up in a hurry, and he can do just that. First trip to the line for him here. The first free throw is good. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. Now the 76ers with it. They're on a 10 to 1 run right now. And Thornton, a streaky shooter from long range, but never shy from out there. I mean, he, for his career, almost half of his shot attempts have come from three point territory. Sellinger. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And you could accuse Marcus Thornton of tunnel vision offensively. But one thing you like, he doesn't turn the ball over. And for a size, Kevin, he's a really crafty finisher around the rim. I like to focus on what guys do. He's a scorer. He takes good care of the ball. Let's not worry about what he does. But you got him there for that reason, and he produces in that way. And he can't get the first one. Well, Jared Sullinger slipped in the 2012 draft over concerns about his back. He ended up missing the latter half of that rookie season when he had to have back surgery. Despite his health issues, when he's been on the court, he's shown a lot of promise. Good on the second free throw. And Solinger with a ground-bound game, even before his back troubles, his game is based on strength and skill. Yeah, no question. He's got that wide frame, able to carve out space inside. You know, he's a good rebounder. He's got a soft touch. Boston really tried to help him become a three-point shooter as well last year. So he's slowly expanding his game. Yeah, he got whacked. Shouldn't be much debate on that one. Yeah, that was as straightforward as it gets, guys. Philadelphia shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. For. Well, the history of college coaches switching over to the NBA is pretty daunting, but Brad Stevens and the Celtics can't worry about those who came before him. He's just got to be himself, and he was well regarded in Boston. Uh, despite the fact that they went through a rebuilding process last year, he did a really good job. Celtics making a switch here. Olenek's checked in. And he makes both free throws. And Coach Stevens enjoying great success in his five seasons as coach of the Butler Bulldogs. Yeah, had a terrific historic run. Two consecutive trips to the NCAA title game, 2010 and 11. I had the privilege to be courtside calling sure those did. games. A 25-game win streak, one of the brightest minds in the game. And with the six-year contract on the Celtics, uh, they clearly believe in his abilities, as do I. Shots good by Turner. Oh, well, they we needed that one finally. That's just one of five now overall. The 76ers leading by eight. The drive by Jackson. Fires at the elbow. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Jackson's got seven. They've worked hard and created great chances for themselves in this opening quarter. Well, if they can match that effort at the defensive end, look out. Now here's Smart. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Now, here's Olenek. He's covered by Noel. Puts it up from 17. And Olenek with the basket on the assist by Thornton. Tough assignment for that defender with the size mismatch we're seeing. Yeah, I, I just don't think he's big enough to, to handle it. Now we'll go to DB, who had a chance to talk with head coach Brad Stevens. Doris? Not turning the ball over is important for any team, obviously. But he said it takes on extra meaning when going up against a team with so many small ball hogs who will seize any opportunity to come up with a steal and turn it into easy points on the other end of the floor. Gentlemen? All right, thanks, Doris. I think it's the one thing we were talking about before the broadcast, the defense they're facing always seems to be in a down mode. Yeah, that's their identity, Kevin, and there's kind of an intimidation factor involved here. They gained their reputation as a defensive club for a reason. They're tough. Yeah, they really are tough, and they also do a good job of making you uncomfortable. 
and frustrating you a little bit. So you got to keep your poise when you're facing a team as good as this one is defensively. Defensively, this team is just giving up way too many open looks. You're exactly right. And to battle back, they've got to shore that defense up, Steve. Now, here's Thornton. He's coming off a 13-point game against Indiana. It's stolen by Carter Williams. Here's Noel. Rebounded by Smart. Here's Jackson. And the layup's good off the glass. Jackson's got 12. And as hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan should be simple. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Beated by the Pacers in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. Kevin, that game defensively was an absolute nightmare. They went into that building and just got blown out by a very hot team. Well, they didn't defend those shooters like they should have. And once the fans got into it and the arena started rocking and thumping and bumping, <laughs> things only got worse. Now here's Smart. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. There's a screen. Thornton a screen on Carter Williams. Nice shot by Smart. Oh, he got him. Gorgeous reverse. The 76ers leading by 11. Now Carter Williams turned in an outstanding game against Brooklyn. Covington shot is off. Looking at Philadelphia, they took the win in their last game against Brooklyn. And their inside strength was so apparent in that win. They, they just blocked shots, controlled the lane, did a good job on the glass. Very alert were they, Steve. Alert, aware, and reacted quickly to shot attempts in the post. Now here's Jackson. 12 points for him. Carter Williams can't get it to go. You know, Boston has shown their team is not afraid to make a deal with one of their stars if they think it's going to benefit the team. And quite often, those deals have worked out for them. The 76ers have gone 8 of 12 on field goal attempts so far. Goes up at the strike. Here's Embiid. Up and in from the low block. Embiid's got eight. He has not missed yet. Four for four in this first quarter. Setting himself up to be their go-to guy today. Smart dishes to Olenek. Pass to Smart. Kicks it to Olenek. He feeds it to Thornton. Six to shoot. Beyond the arc. And it's Thornton again missing. Defense didn't give him any space there. Here's Covington. He's coming off a 13-point game against Brooklyn. And Kevin, don't forget about his playmaking in that game as well. It was wonderful in terms of attacking the defense and figuring out when to shoot and when to find teammates. Well, they've yet to string many stops together. It just seems like they've been a step slow here. Olenek sets a screen for Smart. Now, here's Olenek. He's tightly guarded. Here's Zeller. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. You know, we didn't see too many plays like that when they were digging this hole for themselves. No, maybe they'll start Clark making up for it now. Uh, it's all about effort and energy and anticipation, and they're finally getting some of that. And Philadelphia decides to take their first time out right here. And I think he, he believes that if he takes some time here to kind of talk things over, it'll be well served for this club. And, you know, maybe this gives him an opportunity to toy around with some of their game plan while he has their attention during this break in the action. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Jay Crowder's checked in for Zeller. Wallace comes in for Evan Turner. Bradley's checked in for Marcus Thornton. And Presley subbed in for Smart. And Philadelphia will go for a different look here. Sims is checked in. Bahamute comes in for Nerlens Noel. Jason Richardson is checked in for Robert Covington. And it's Crawford in for Michael Carter-Williams. Here's Crawford. Here's Jackson. Here is Mbamute. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. We'll shoot one more at the free throw line. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And 
that one misses. Well, Sixers head coach Brett Brown, a basketball lifer, his father was a respected high school coach before he went on to start at point guard at Boston University under Rick Pitino. Now, here's Brett. Right now averaging 11 points a game. And that one's good. That's a clean look they gave him there, fellas, and he drains those. The 76ers leading by 10. Crawford outside. Sims kicks to Richardson. Passes to Jackson. And the shot falls short this time. And Brown was a pretty good player, athletic, fast, great hands. After college, he played professionally in Australia. And he ended up living there for 17 years. So between growing up in New England and his time down under, he's developed an interesting accent. Some have called it Australian. <laughs> <laughs> I like his fire, too. He was a competitive, energetic guy. The Celtics shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Free throw good. Preston. Second free throw, no good. Take a look at the rebound totals, guys. That's plus five now on the glass. And, Steve, I don't think there's any question which team came out with more energy and enthusiasm. Richardson, no luck. And a missed opportunity right there. Definitely. I think he should have converted that one. Pressy passes to Brant. Feeds it to Pressy. Wallace outside. He kicks it to Pressy. Five on the clock. Outside Brandon. With the shot. Boston again missing. The 76ers leading by nine. On the wing, Jason Richardson. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Here's Crawford. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Sims dishes to Jackson. Six to shoot. Jackson is doubled. Sims. It's blocked. And the shot is good. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working beautifully. Yeah, the defense has been futile here. Five of the last six field goals in the lane. Here's Preston. And the pass to Brantley. It's just depressing. There's the feed to Crowd. It's Bradley on the wing. No good. And the 76ers go the other way with it. Outside Jackson. Off target on the outside leaner. I'd rather see him just pull straight up. He went for that leaner and uh, it seemed to be off balance a bit. Outside Brandon. Pass to Pressy. And count the basket. He is fouled and he's going to the line for one more. Well, he earned that one. Took a hit and still found a way to knock it down. Yeah, fantastic body control. And the will to get it done. You like that focus. Thompson, he's checked in for Jackson. The Celtics shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. And Pressy, no good on that one. Well, the thing is that they haven't gotten it done at the line here early in the ball game. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game. Thompson misses. Well, the shot was there for him, and he had to take it. I don't care if he didn't convert. He's got to take that every time. In the corner, Wallace with it. The dish to Pressy. Can't connect from short range. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Philadelphia ahead. They lead by nine. And, and don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. So far through the first quarter, as our second quarter gets underway. What stands out to you guys from the 76ers in this one? They've done a nice job on the offensive boards here, guys. And I think that was the difference in that first quarter. Really pounding the offensive glass. Well, they set the tone early with their mindset. 
their tenacity and their hustle. I mean, that's the way they've come out, and it's um, served them well. So to begin the second quarter for the Philadelphia 76ers, we've got Mba Amute. Thompson is out there with Michael Carter Williams. Then it's Richardson, and it's Sims in at the five spot. Well, Jared Sullinger grew up with the game. His father was a demanding high school coach, and the, the word is that Jared was actually doing footwork drills at the age of two, uh, shooting regulation free throws by three. You see how strong he is, and he's got a great IQ and skill for the game. And pushing it up, here's Boston. That's good. The Philadelphia lead is cut down to seven on the bucket from Bradley. I'd say that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, it sure did. A good job getting it started and a better job finishing it off. Now, here's Richardson. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. He dishes it to Mba Amute. Pass to Carter Williams. Rebound, Boston. Not too much congestion in the lane. I think he could have gotten a better shot that time, no question. Mba Amute pulls it in. And Baamute has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Richardson kicks to Sims. From six feet, and he gets it to go. And the 76ers lead by nine. That time the defenders were a little lazy getting to him. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Here's Preston. Kicks to Bradley. On the wing, Wallace. There's the three. And that one's good. How about the passing here? Moving the ball without any thought, without any agenda. It's hard to overstate all the points they've scored on assists today. Beautiful to watch. Now, here's Richardson, right now averaging 11 points a game. Wallace attacking. He feeds it to Pressy. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. He's had a few chances at the line, one of three in the game. The first one falls. Some changes for Boston. Zeller is checked in for Crowder. Turner comes in for Wallace. And Smart subbed in for Avery Bradley. And so he hits both. The 76ers leading by four. And Doris Burke has something for us. Hey, Doris. Well, Kevin, Jared Solinger has developed some very thick skin during his time in the league. Solinger said, because I had Satch Solinger as a coach. So I learned early that it's not how loud he's saying it, it's what he's saying. I was blessed to have an angry coach. It's very hard to get into Jared's head, guys. It is indeed. Thank you, Doris. Here's Preston. Five points in the game. Turner passes to Pressy. Six on the shot clock. Smart dishes to Pressy. For three. Count it. And the 76ers lead has been cut to just one in the basket from Turner. And they're making this a game here. Putting together a nice run. Making it a game. How about anybody's game? I mean, they've caught fire. And it's a toss-up right now, guys. The number of points they've scored in the paint already today is pretty eye-opening, Steve. No, oh, it's off the charts. It really is. And defensively, I mean, they have to start shutting down some of those lanes to the hoop. Marcus Thornton, he's checked in for the Celtics. The 76ers also with the sub. Jackson's checked in. Philadelphia shooting their sixth attempt at the charity strike in the game. Well, Joel Embiid, born in Cameroon, the son of a professional handball player, only started playing basketball at the age of 16. He can play soccer and volleyball, but I tell you, his development in the game has been rapid. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Thornton against Jackson. 
Back to Carter Williams. Six on the shot clock. From the corner. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And for Embiid, his countryman and NBA veteran, Luke Richard and Baamute spotted him at a camp in Africa. That was the start of it all. Came over to the U.S., didn't play a whole lot in high school, expected to redshirt at Kansas, but ended up starting from day one. And the thing I liked about him is he almost improved not just game to game. You can see improvement within game. That's with a great Embiid. point. You're right. Michael Carter Williams with that rare height at the point guard spot. He's 6'6, long arms. And one thing you love about taller point guards, the ability to really survey the court and pass over the top of the defense. You can't make the second free throw either, missing both. And for Carter Williams, great quickness at his height. Clark able to defend smaller players and get by them to penetrate on the other side of the floor. And he needs that, Kevin, because his jump shot is still very much a work in progress. It's not broke, but it's wobbling a little bit. He's got to tighten that thing up going forward. Jackson, that's good. And after that last game, Clark, I'm not surprised to see him so hot. He's got it rolling right now. Celtics trail by four. Smart kicks to Selinger. The fader. And good. That thing is that time as it falls. Not enough defense there to throw him off his shot. Sometimes it takes more than one defender on him down low. And here is Carter Williams. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Noel trying to break loose. Again, Philadelphia. Very effective screen to set up the jumper. That was the key to that play. The Celtics have gone 5 of 8 from the floor here in the second quarter. Over 60% shooting. Smart kicks to Thornton. Passes it to Selinger. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. This game's going to take a big swing. Clark, if the D continues to clear out like that and give up easy dunks. Yeah, that's the kind of defense we expect to see Come in a blowout, on. Kevin, or even a exhibition game not a close game like this look and how you know, frustrated steve is over well, I just, his head. Uh, you know what oh, he's Kevin, come on Kevin, I, I just like that he didn't choose to just lay it up i mean he threw it down with force and b no good that's not an opportunity he fails to convert very often smart passes to zeller Hunter williams against fort feeds it to turner Shot from 12. Rebound by the 76ers. Noel's got his fifth rebound in this one. Hunter Williams dishes to Jackson. And they double up Jackson. So it's Philadelphia now. And Noel kicks to Carter Williams. Shot clock at six. And the pass to Jackson. Puts up a three. Jared Sollinger pulls it in. Boston's gone two or three when they step beyond the arc in the second quarter. Now the feed to Thornton. He kicks it to Sollinger. And the foul called on Merlin's Noel. Now a timeout called by Boston. And a chance here to go to our rookie leaderboard and give a nod to the best long-range bombers of the past month. In the third spot, Marcus Smart. Well, we heard talk of his outside shooting before he came into the NBA, and given the past 30 days, I can see what the fuss was all about. Yeah, and I don't think this is just a hot streak, Steve. I mean, to me, it's a snapshot of the overall ability he has from long range. And so it's Boston with it, trailing by two. Just five on the clock. Here's Thornton. That misses. Had a chance to tie it there. 
They've been strong on the boards. There's no disputing that. That's what the box score says. Still anybody's game, though. Here's Covington. He's got five. Back to Carter Williams. They set the pick. Fade away. No good. And it's Boston the other way. They'll be off to Oklahoma City for a meeting with the Thunder after this one. That'll be the first half of a two-game trip. No doubt the Oklahoma City fans want to see the Thunder take that game. And it's the 76ers with the ball. After Jared Sullinger's miss. It's stolen by Sullinger. And a fast break now for the Celtics. Smart leading the charge. Sullinger passes to Thornton. Back to Sullinger. Nice ball movement by Boston. Dishes it to Turner. Six to shoot. Puts up the baby hook. Can't hit from in close. The 76ers lead it. Outside Jackson. Right side Jackson. Trying to get back on track. And Boston with the rebound. Now here's Turner. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Pacers in Indianapolis. And his work on the glass. Sir, right now. Oh, what a throw down there. I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is the two points, not the dramatics. Oh, come on, Clark. He had to go for it, didn't he? Perhaps. I'm, with, I'm <laughs> with you, Kevin. You can't fault him for that. I mean, just let him go. Who cares? Smart dishes to Thornton. Misses off the left iron. And his mechanics are just all out of whack now. He just has no feel for his shot. Well, his numbers certainly back that fact up. I mean, he has gone ice cold here. Covington kicks to Carter Williams. And let's take a look now. Jared Sullinger's numbers. The past few weeks, he's been a major contributor. And you can see where he ranks. He's averaging 15 points a game, eight rebounds, and three assists. And he's a threat to go off in any game with the way he can score. Yeah, you got to have players like him who can occasionally just take over the game with their scoring. And the first one at the line is good. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter. But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. And some changes here for the Celtics. Kelly Olynyk checked in for Tyler Zeller. Jay Crowder comes in for Jared Sullinger. And Bradley subbed in for Marcus Thornton. Philadelphia also making some changes. Sims is checked in. And Mbaa Mute comes in for Nerlens Noel. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Well, he did enough there. He made it a two-possession game, at least. Jay Crowder, a former second-rounder back in 2012 on Marquette. Those Golden Eagles turn out some gamers, don't they? They sure do. You think about Wes Matthews, Jimmy Butler, and Crowder is in that same mold. Strong and rugged, a physical defender, a smart player, and plays with a great motor and enthusiasm. And let's now go to the sideline to catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Well, Sixers coach Brett Brown, for 12 years, an assistant with the Spurs. Coach Popovich said he, quote, lives and breathes the game. Fellow Spurs alum, Hawks coach Mike Budenholzer said he fits Philly because he's blue collar and he's a tough dude. He's demanding, but players love and respect him. Kevin? The perfect guy to rebuild their foundation indeed. Boys, thank you. Richardson, he's checked in for the 76ers. And you look at Crowder, a combo forward, muscular frame, built like a tight end. In fact, he played power forward in college, but at 6'6", he's played the three in the pro. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Bradley, no one around him. Here's Olenek. A chance here, Kevin, to take a look at the 76ers and how they rank in the NBA right now. Found it. 12th and fewest turnovers per game. And they're in the top half of the league when it comes to limiting opponents' offense as well. 
Yeah, I, I agree with you there, Clark. And what, what jumps out to me is the rebounding because when you can rebound the basketball as a team, you can stay in every game. Even if you're not shooting the ball well, you rebound, you get extra possessions, and you allow your team the ability to make a comeback. And that one falls for Olenek. It's been a good night for Olenek. He has eight points and also a blocked shot. He's given them just what they would have hoped for today. I think maybe even more. Wallace has checked in for the Celtics. Tressie comes in for Smart. And so Olenek nails both of them. Here in the second quarter, they've made all of their shots from the foul line. And that's a must-do when you're down. Pass to Sims. Jackson a screen on Wallace. Jackson passes to Richardson. Kicks it out to Crawford. Charity stripe shot. Crowder pulls it in. Crowder's got rebound number five here tonight. Obviously, they're evenly matched teams on the inside. The rebound numbers are very even. Yeah, I've been impressed with just both teams' energy, just really working hard on the board. And let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the 76ers. Well, I like the fact they've already been getting a lot of high-quality shots in the paint. And they're knocking down that mid-range jump shot, too, so they're really doing a nice job offensively. Both shots good from the strike. Avery Bradley out of Texas, one of the elite perimeter defenders in the NBA. A guy who can really give you nightmares bringing the ball up the floor. 6'2", but with long arms, and he can defend both guard positions. Really pressures the ball well. Richardson dishes to Crawford. That's good. And the 76ers lead by three. 59 seconds left now here in the second. And despite his 6'2 size, it's pretty clear that offensively, Avery Bradley is not a point guard. He's worked hard on developing his ball handling, especially his left hand, but he's certainly at his best when he's playing off the ball. Lock at six. The dish to a limit. Mbaa Amute pulls it in. Mbaa Amute has got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Richardson. That's good, and it's Jackson with the assist that time. Now it's a five-point Philadelphia lead. Boston's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. And you talk about Bradley playing the two. He's worked to put weight on up over, what, I think, Steve, 200, 210 pounds, you were saying. Yeah, yeah, looks like it. He, he looks stronger. He's, he's added some weight. Remember, he underwent surgery on both shoulders a couple of seasons ago, but now he's healthy. And uh, with that strength, with that defensive awareness, with the quickness, uh, he's got the ability to be a really good player. And the defense fouling there to prevent that layup, forcing two free throws here. Nice job that time of attacking the paint and drawing the contact. They'll take that. 76ers have shot 50% from the line on 10 attempts. That's a few too many misses. Now, collectively, this is a 73% free throw shooting team. And comparing to the numbers of last season, they've made a bit of improvement. So that's some positive momentum they can look to build on. That's good from Richardson. Well, it seems like they're having a lot of trouble at the line today, and it's just been that kind of a day. That one is no good. The shot is off. That'll do it for the first half. 76ers lead by six. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. Boston needs to do a better job guarding against Jackson. He's got 16 points, and he's knocked down a pair of three-pointers in this game, too. Well, they might want to think about setting a few more screens for him to try to give him another open look or two.
Celtics trail by six. Sullinger and Zeller together down low. Smart is out there with Thornton, and it's Turner in at the small forward. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Zeller setting the pick for Smart. And Turner kicks to Smart. Six on the shot clock, and it's Turner off the drive. Here's Sullinger, and there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Sullinger's got his team on the board first here in the second half for Boston. Carter Williams kicks to Noel. He dishes it to Jackson. That's good. Jackson's got 18 points. And you can feel the, the pattern of this game, guys. They're, they're working it inside, dominating in the paint, getting good shots at will. Well, four of their last five baskets, guys, have been of exactly that variety. Thornton passes to Turner. Kicks to Sullinger. Pass to Thornton. Smart dishes to Thornton. And Jackson with the block. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. And this gives us a chance to highlight the rookies with the most assists here in the second half of the season. The fourth spot held by Marcus Smart. Well, he learned whatever lessons had to be learned in the first half of the season. And now he's just going about breaking down defenses. And I can assure you guys that his teammates love, absolutely love playing with him now, even if it took them a while to get used to each other. Cooled the D with the pass fake right there. And now it's an 8.76ers lead. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a nice look. Poor job by the defender to not fight over or around that screen. Zeller setting the pick for Turner. And Thornton kicks to Zeller. Blocked. Carter Williams with it. Averaging 16 points a game. Jackson passes to Embiid. Puts up the baby hook. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Jackson's got three assists in the game. For Boston, they've gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room at the break. Smart dishes to Thornton. He feeds it to Turner from deep. Left side, Turner. Thornton against Jackson. And Thornton kicks to Selinger. That's good. Selinger's got nine. Guys, he's shot a very good percentage today, and they need it. All 76ers leading by eight. Timeout called the 76ers. Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Well, over that break, I listened in on Brett Brown's huddle. The most important points they can get, he said, are points in transition. He told them to push it, create opportunities on the fast break. He also said that their work on the offensive glass is going to be critical. He believes second-chance points will go a long way toward deciding this game. Probably a good time to make some changes with a good chunk of the second half still to go, Kevin. Thank you, Doris. Now, still a great start to the half. They're hitting their first three even before that miss. Pass to Smart. Thornton against Carter Williams. That's good. The Philadelphia Eagles get down to just six points in the bucket from Thornton. For Philadelphia, they've gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. Covington in the corner. To Carter Williams. Feeds it to Jackson. There's Noel. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Jackson's got his fourth assist in this one. Coming out strong here in the third quarter. That's four for five shooting for this team. Now a timeout called by Boston. Well, just too many easy buckets, you know, in and around the paint. So he wants to put a stop to it. This timeout is going to be used to try to tighten up the defense. Guys, at this level, they won't miss often if you keep giving up looks inside, and they're paying for that right now. Good time out here.
Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Thornton against Jackson. Smart kicks to Turner. Up three off the mark. The 76ers leading by eight. Evan Turner has a nice potpourri of skills. I mean, a 6'7 swing man with very good ball handling ability. Played a lot of point forward at the Ohio State University. And also an excellent rebounder for a wing. And his basketball IQ is quite high to go along with that versatility. Austin's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Smart passes to Selinger. Now here's Smart. Carter Williams covering. Smart dishes to Selinger. And stretching back to the break, here's how the Celtics have performed. 14th in rebounding. 17th in opponent shooting percentage. And for opponent scoring numbers, not so strong. Only in the top 20 in the league in that category. They leave a lot to be desired at the defensive end. Free throw good from Selinger. Well, Jared Selinger has been getting it done. He's got 10 points and one steal. You know, he's been so good at both ends of the floor, guys, but what's impressed me the most is his offensive performance. I don't know, Steve. I think the work he's done defensively has been pretty impressive, too. So he hits one of two from the strike. The 76ers leading by seven. Here's Covington. Five points in the game. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Shot from 12. And it's off the back rim. No good. He's just been ice cold. I mean, he, he cannot find the range. And Turner kicks to Smart. Now here's Turner. D right on him. The pass to Smart. The feed to Thornton. Trills the three-pointer. Thornton's got five points now in the quarter. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. Now here's Carter Williams. Tight defense on him. From beyond the arc, Carter Williams with another miss. Well, he's building a house with those bricks. I mean, one reason is he keeps trying to force it up when he's defended well. Move the ball. Share the sugar. Well, analytics are here to stay, and Marcus Smart is one of the higher-rated prospects when you look at the analytics. He's got a high rate of steals and rebounds, which is always something that typically translates well to the pro game. Both of those things reflect his competitive spirit. It's obvious this young man goes at it full throttle when he's on the court. And Smart with great size and athleticism for the point guard position. 6'3", 6'9", wingspan. He, he looks big and plays even bigger. I think he's a, an old-school combo guard. I mean, he's got point guard skills and leadership ability. He can penetrate. He can finish. But I think he's just a guard that you'll, you'll win with because he does not only the things you, you, you highlight and measure, but he also does the intangibles, too. Now, Carter Williams... Jackson setting the pick here for Carter Williams. He kicks it to Covington. Leans and off the glass. That one's good. Covington's got seven points in the game. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. No question. Pound it into the painted area and continue to put pressure on that defense. And it's Turner off the drive. No luck. And it's Philadelphia the other way. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. Ball's not loose. And stolen by Thornton. And here's Smart. Five points in the game. Dishes to Thornton. Here's the three. Again, the miss by Turner. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. You know, they're being very one-dimensional right now, going to the post every time. But if it works, 
You don't need another dimension. Well, they're taking this defense to task, quite honestly. Every one of their last 10 points have come in the paint. Smart gets to Turner. Looking to end his cold spell. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. Well, they're taking high percentage shots in the paint. I like the way their offense is clicking. They've worked hard tonight at crashing the boards as well. They've had a bunch of second chance points. No good on that one. And a new group in for the Celtics. Olenek, he's checked in for Tyler Zeller. Crowder comes in for Jared Sullinger. Bradley's checked in for Marcus Thornton. And Phil Pressey's subbed in for Smart. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Sims is checked in. Mbaamute comes in for Nerland's Noel. Jason Richardson, he's checked in for Robert Covington. And it's Crawford in for Carter Williams. Philadelphia leading by six. It's Crawford on the wing. No good from outside. Boy, I'm shocked he didn't make that one. He, he usually knocks that one down with ease. Turner against Crawford. Shots good by Turner. Turner's got his third bucket of the night. Still went down, but with no defense anywhere near him, he might as well just go straight up. No need to fade away. Crawford's shot is good. They're perfectly content to keep going to that mid-range jumper. If the defense is going to give it to them, they'll take it all day. Yeah, why not? I mean, you, you have to just take what's there, and as long as you're moving the ball and getting good shots, that's all that matters. Right side, Bradley. Pressy against Jackson. Down to five on the shot clock. Olenek can't hit. For Philadelphia, they've gone 7 of 12 from the floor since coming out of the break. Sims kicks to Crawford. Crawford with another miss. And the defense got away with a major lapse there. Turner with it. Guarded now by Jackson. Outside Brent. To the middle. Astro Linick. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Sims has got his sixth rebound on the night. Jackson passes to Richardson. And Baamute dishes to Richardson. Hits the three-point bomb. Richardson's got six. You know what, guys? He can really light it up from the perimeter at times. Pressy against Jackson. Pressy kicks to Turner. He hits Bradley on the wing. Lays it up, and in spite of the excellent defense at that, eight points for him. Drop back the finger roll. That's a nice finesse move to pull off with the defense all over. Crawford, no one around him. Here's Sims. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. They've done their part here to run down a lot of missed shots. A solid rebounding effort. Yeah, I, I'm impressed. I mean, they're fighting for every loose ball, putting a body on somebody and going after the rim. The Celtics making a switch here. Wallace is checked in. Thompson, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Now, here's Brent. He's got eight. There's the pick. Wallace with the screen on Crawford. Bradley kicks to Turner. Fades away and sinks the tough shot. Turner's got five points now in the quarter. The 76ers leading by eight. Thompson outside. To the inside. From downtown. Rebound by Owenick. Olenek's got rebound number five here tonight. Bradley passes to Olenek. From the arc. Bradley can't get it to go. More often than not today, those shots have not dropped for him. Shoots. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. 
Eight points for Crawford. Boston's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Crawford against Turner. The dish to Olenek. Outside Brent. Shot clock at six. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. And for him so far this season, he's shooting 83% from the free throw line. Those are outstanding numbers. And you know, with those numbers, he makes a defender hesitant to get too tight on him. I mean, he doesn't want to get whistled for the foul and put this guy on the line. That one misses. Oh, well, they're now plus five in the rebound category, really controlling the glass. And rebounding is one of those non-glamour steps. I mean, it takes work and effort and tenacity and physicality. But when you look at the scoreboard, you can see the correlation. Well, Jamal Crawford has proven that no matter what role he plays, just call him buckets. He can flat out put the ball in the basket. You got to give him a lot of credit, though. He does change his game quite a bit, depending on if he's coming off the bench or starting. I think that speaks to his IQ. The throw good, Crawford. And as you said with Jamal, a lot of players can't really make that change between being a starter or a sub, but he does it so smoothly in such short time, it really adds a lot of utility to this team. And so Jamal Crawford nails both of them. Well, Crawford described it perfectly, Clark, when he said as a six-man, you have to come in and force yourself into the game. As a starter, the pressure isn't there as much as you can go with the flow. Yeah, players like him can often do one or the other. Come in firing off the bench or let the game come to you. But rarely can they assess what the team needs like Crawford does and adjust on the fly so smoothly. And there's Richardson. That's good on the assist by Thompson. Richardson's got his third basket of the night right there. Celtics trail by 13. Shot and game clock separated by five. Olenek sets a screen for Turner. It's Olenek at top the key. Back to Turner. Olenek dishes to Wallace. Just five to shoot. The offensive rebound. Crowder kicks to Wallace. The second chance effort. Can't get it to go. He gets it up. He's a dead eye at the line, fellas. Just call him all the match. He doesn't miss many of those. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. 76ers on top. They lead by 13. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here. The 76ers leading by 13. So on the floor for Philadelphia. Michael Carter Williams is out there with Hollis Thompson. And then there's Henry Sims. Then it's Noel. And it's Richardson in at the three. Carter Williams kicks to Sims. Six to shoot. The jump hook. There's Noel. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. You gotta give them a lot of credit for the job they've done on the backboard. Well, they've done a lot of things right, but I agree with you, Clark. The rebounding is right there at the top of the list. Smart passes to Selinger. Off target from outside. Carter Williams with it. From beyond the arc, rebound Boston. Oh, Linux got six rebounds now in the game. It's stolen by Carter Williams. We play just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Richardson dishes to Sims. Carter Williams kicks to Richardson. Off the mark there with a the three-point shot. And he gets the bucket. And that's now six points for Nerlens Noel. 
I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. I agree. They need more energy in the post, maybe some double teaming. They've got to get their defense in gear. Really good offensive execution. Nice pick. Just couldn't get the shot to go. Boy, you love to see that as a basketball purist. Guy setting a good screen and then getting the shot opportunity. Here's Carter Williams. Sims, the pass to Carter Williams. And Kelly Olenek is going to pick up the foul. Marcus Thornton, he's checked in for Jay Crowder. Robert Covington's checked in for Philadelphia. Jackson comes in for Thompson. Covington dishes to Sims. Pass to Noel. Here's Covington. Connects from three-point range. Boy, he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the defense. Celtics trail by 20. Smart kicks to Olenek. The Celtics working the ball around now. Here's Sollinger. And too long on the shot. And in the paint, they have really shown some strength. Their work on the boards has been phenomenal. Yeah, I'd certainly call it a mismatch, Steve, at least for today. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. Embiid, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Olenek sets a screen for Smart. Well, it seemed slightly controversial when it was introduced a few seasons ago, but I think we can all agree now that the new flopping finds have been a big success. Flopping seems to have gone down across the board. Zeller is checked in for Boston. Substitution for Celtics. Tyler Zeller. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Again, the miss by the Celtics. You know, that mid-range jump shot is not his strong suit, even when he gets a good look like that. Here's Carter Williams. Noel sets a screen for Carter Williams. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Yeah, good call there. You could tell he was moving into the defender when he tried to set the screen. Yeah, lowered that shoulder, dipped right into him, too. I mean, he was going to be called on that foul either way. Now, Smart, out to the wing. Sullinger with the ball. Noel on him, and that one's good. 12 points for Jared Sullinger. Nice soft touch to drop that one in. Philadelphia leading by 18. Jackson passes to Covington. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Easy call there. No question about that one. You could hear the impact from where I am. At the line, seven sixers. Mike Carter wins. Two shots. One is off. And he's good on the second. This is a positive trend for him, especially here in the second half, shooting just above 80% right now. That's more than respectable. That's good free throw shooting. Smart dishes to Sollinger. Hits it from three-point range. Sollinger's got five points now in the quarter. The easiest way to do it sometimes is with the bounce pass. And here is Carter Williams. He dishes it to Jackson. They set the screen. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Jackson's got 24 points. Well, it's kind of been the story here today, hasn't it, Clark? To the inside. Here's Zeller. 
Makes it off the glass. Unselfish basketball on the interior. I love that, and you got to think the coaching staff does too. Well, 76ers leading by 16. Outside Jackson. Kicks it to Covington. Passes it to Carter Williams. Pocket four. No good from outside. Feeds to Covington. Now the pass to Carter Williams. He kicks it to Covington. Floats one. Rebounded by the Celtics. Smart's got his third rebound tonight. And it's Bradley off the drive. He feeds it to Smart. Takes the three. And again, Buxton with the triple. Timeout call the 76ers. He's definitely shaken up. They're using the timeout to let their trainer take a look at it. Boston making a switch here. Turner's checked in. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Brett Brown said to his team. He said to them, the lead we've got now is nice, but I want to make it even nicer. This is when we put the hammer down. It doesn't look like he's ready to back off just yet, guys. Always great to hear from you, Doris. Jackson kicks to Noel. The feed now to Jackson. Connects from three-point range. Jackson's got 11 points here in just the second half. Celtics trail by 16. Now here's Smart. Zeller setting the pick for Smart. And Sollinger kicks to Thornton. Zeller goes back up. And the basket by Thornton. They've been getting it inside at every opportunity and getting results, too. It's a great formula. And it's really a sign that the offense is clicking. Carter Williams with it. There's the pick. Vicious to Covington. Back to Carter Williams. Good work defensively by Turner. For Boston, they've gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Pass to Smart. There's the dish to Sullinger. Shoots from 14. Rebounded by Jackson. The 76ers leading by 14. Pass to Carter Williams. MB dishes to Covington. 76ers moving the ball around. Here's Carter Williams. Good on the 13-footer. And the 76ers lead by 16. It's been the story of the game for him. Fortunately, his teammates have bailed him out. From deep, Thornton. And the Celtics hit again from deep. There's been a change in his game compared to what we saw in the first half. I mean, he's scoring with a lot of confidence now. Now, Carter Williams. Noel sets a screen for Carter Williams. And Noel gets to Carter Williams. Rebound, Boston. Zeller's got eight rebounds in this game. Zeller setting the pick for Smart. Over in the corner, Turner. And again, Boston with the triple. All these open threes they're giving up have really been the driving force of this run. I agree, guys. And points add up in a hurry when you start giving up easy looks from long range. He's not necessarily a strong inside presence, but he needs to polish those chances off. He dishes it to Smart. And to Sullinger. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. You know, every team in the league loves to have good size in the middle, but it does seem like the league is getting tougher for a big man. You know, help defenses now, uh, the allowance of zone defenses, you can uh, sort of load up on players. It, it can inhibit a, a big man's ability to attack because you can see double teaming even before he's gotten the ball. Uh, but it's made for great strategy. I really like the new rules. As the game has required more movement, Clark, we're seeing big guys try to slim down. And, yeah, big men with agility are at a premium, but also it takes a little bit of the stress and strain off the joints. As few as 5 to 10 pounds less 
can make a big difference, and that's huge for big guys. Their free throw is good from Zellinger. The 76ers leading by eight. Carter Williams kicks to Noel. Passes it to Covington. Feeds to Jackson. And the pass to Carter Williams. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Jackson's got six assists here tonight. Boston's gone 4-6 from beyond the arc in the fourth quarter so far. Sellinger is screen on Carter Williams. Smart passes to Zeller. Outside Turner. Kicks to Sellinger. Gets the 14 foot of the ball. Sellinger's got nine points now in the quarter. Philadelphia's gone two or five on three point shots since the end of the third quarter. Embiid sets the pick for Carter Williams. And Noel kicks to Covington. He feeds it to Carter Williams. Rocket six. Noel sets a screen for Carter Williams. Terrific design on the pick foot, and he lays it in. And the 76ers lead by 10. Now a timeout called by Boston. Nice game. Great performance by the Cobra. He's been attacking the rim with reckless abandon. They're searching for answers. Some way they've got to figure out how to contain him. Here's Smart. He kicks it to Turner. The feed to Selinger. Feeds away. Gets the front of the rim and out. Well, I think one of the stories has been rebound. Left side, Jackson. To the inside. Here's Covington. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Look at what Covington has done so far. Ten points and four assists. He's just been making one play after another from one baseline to the other, covering the whole court. Full throttle up and down the court. He has not let up one bit. Free throw drops for Covington. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Celtics trail by 11. And here's Smart. Dishes it to Selinger. Takes it from 10. And again, it's busting. Order for him at the offensive end. He's ignored the scoreboard and continued to go out there and do his thing. There's a good screen. Hunter Williams dishes to Covington. Back to Carter Williams. That's blocked. And now with the fast break, Smart with the ball. Gordon, no good. The 76ers leading by nine. Jackson drives in, and he gets it to go. Well, it seems like when they've gone to him, he's really come through. And that's not something they should get away from. Well, for the Celtics, this one not looking good. We've got 128 left in the fourth quarter. Sullinger inside. He's covered by Noel. Good on the shot. The Bulls just keep coming for him this quarter. And just at the right time, too, as they try to narrow the deficit. Jackson passes to Carter Williams. Pass to Covington. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. And he cannot 
Pick the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. Boston. They're behind by 10. 106 left in the fourth quarter. <laughs> 106 left in the fourth quarter. And it's Turner off the drive, and that one's good. Turner's got 10 points in just the second half. And uh, 101 left to play in the final quarter. Philadelphia's gone 2 of 5 on three point shots since the end of the third quarter. And stolen by Zach. Outside Turner. Cuts it by. Moves back up. You know what? Now the 76ers take it the other way. They led the game at one point by 20. Outside Jackson. Now the dish to Carter Williams. There's a good screen. Here's Embiid. The basket good off the assist from Carter Williams. And the 76ers lead by 10. Now a timeout called by Boston. They trail by 10. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Well, talk all they want, but I just don't see a way for them to get back into the game here. You know what? I don't know if there's a 10-point play out there, and that being the case, this one is Finney over. And a whole new group out on the floor for the Celtics. There's 21 seconds left in the game. Pressy against Thompson. Pressy kicks to Crowder. Top of the key, Pressy. Let's it go from deep. The shot, no good. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. And this one was such a lopsided victory. They never let up. They were full throttle from the start. Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll see you next time. And now, our Jordan player of the game.